We're gonna start digging. We've got our, our, our starter hole we've done with a shovel. When you turn this bit and you're looking down on top of the shaft, this needs to be turning as you're looking down on it in a clockward position. So we're gonna turn this into the ground and auger that right into the ground just like this. This bit is full of dirt already. So what that means is I've got to pull this out and now I've got to get rid of the dirt in here. I'm going to take it over to the dirt pile, push everything out, clean the bit off a bit, and back in the hole again. Bit's filling up with dirt. It's full. You can feel it when it's full. In four passes, we've gone two feet. Don't get all excited about digging down two feet in just a matter of a couple of minutes. This is the first part of the hole. Right now, we're in topsoil that could be pretty soft. We don't have a lot of friction, a lot of weight from the handles. Every time we add a shaft to the handle, it gets heavier, it gets harder to turn, and, and, and the process is going to slow down quite a bit. And uh, we're going to continue on digging with this. Hopefully we're going to hit some water. One of the important things that uh, you got to keep in mind as you're doing this is make, always make sure your lock pins are in place and locked into position. Um, especially that's going to be much more critical as we add rod to this. We want to check every one as we go. What we don't want to happen is we don't want to get down there, start pulling it out, and four or five pieces of rod in the bit drop down into the hole. That's going to be a real bummer to get out. To the point where this is this is too low you're gonna you're gonna stress yourself out trying to bend over and digging in this position you want to stand up as erect as possible and and dig and dig and dig and when it gets to this point it's going to be about time to change we're going to take the handle assembly off we're going to make sure that we don't drop the uh, lock pin down the hole so we're going to set it off to the side we're going to nut, grab another piece of uh, of rod this is another 36 inch piece we're going to put it in place lining up the holes we're going to take our lock pin, this is going to be facing down towards the ground. We're going to lock this into position. We're going to take our second lock pin on our handle. We're going to put it in place lining up the holes. This facing towards the ground. Lock that into position. Now we're ready to uh, start digging again. We never want to dig on an angle, we want to dig directly above the hole. So make sure you're lined up above the hole. This is, why, this is why you don't get so excited. <laughs> As we're in uh, almost, almost six, uh, six feet, uh, we just added our third section of rod. Uh, we've been working at this for a little bit over an hour. We hit a rock and um, the rock kind of slowed the progress way down. put this in place right now over the top of this we're going to slide that in place this will keep the shaft from falling all the way down inside the, the well you can also utilize this to hold everything in place add another piece of handle so you've got your hands free you can add everything and then continue on with uh, adding pieces as you go
you got to be aware of what's going on over the top of you. Um, in this case here today, we actually have power lines. That may not be an issue in the place you're working, but it could be a problem. If you have power lines, and the ones that I have seen in most uh, places are not in good, very good shape, this is going to be like a grounding rod. And if you touch one of those power lines with this metal shaft, it will probably electrocute you. So be really careful about what's going on overhead. Now trees are a good place to dig because if there's trees growing, there's typically water down there. But you got to be aware of what's above you so that you can actually pull your rods back out high enough to be able to uh, disengage them. We're getting into uh, what appears to be a little bit of gravel. If we go down into this pile where we first started, see the difference? This is real fine dirt, almost like a nice topsoil. No rock, no gravel, anything in it, but look how coarse this is. It's a good indication we may get to some water pretty, pretty quickly actually as well. Not guaranteed, but it's a good indication. Oh yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're not straight up. I think you made it through there. Yeah, we did. Looks like you did. Yep. I think we're full. Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> now we're gonna go. You pull, and then I'll pull. You pull, and then I'll pull. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to go, we still have to go straight up, guys. There we go. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we are like into clay. You know what that means. When you get the water, water So it should clay. be water soon. Oh, that's, yep, not very, no, ro no rock in that. We got through the rock layer. So we're getting we're getting close to uh, to some water here. Real muddy. The handle getting a little bit too low. We don't want to pull it all out, so we're going to go ahead and, and pull it up a length and lock this in here like that, and then set it back down. Now what we can do is we can just take this one pin loose, hold everything in place, and we can add another piece in between. We're in the water. We're at about 20 feet-ish. And uh, we're gonna try to go in a little bit more. We'll keep digging and, uh, until we're not pulling anything out and then we're gonna start putting in the casing. Box in's good. Box in's good. We've taken out a section of it. I put the handle back on so that we can hang on to this. We can pull the foot out. And in case we slipped or dropped, what would happen is this would not fall down the well because right now we're hanging free in there. And so we don't want to accidentally drop everything down there where we have to try to fish it out because that would be a real bad deal. We're going to go ahead and pull the rest of it out. And we're still empty. Soaking wet, but empty. 